Hey everybody, Sam Terrell, the Northwest Aeronaut, and today we're gonna be talking about stalls. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about stalls and how I teach them to new pilots so as to hopefully not instill a permanent fear or apprehension around the maneuver. But first, I wanted to let you all know that we now have three, yes, three RV-12s at Twin Oaks. For today's flight, I took out our newest edition, 311 Charlie Charlie, and these planes are fantastic primary trainers for either private or sport pilot certificates. So if any of you out there are looking for a fantastic fleet of RV-12s to train in or to get transition training in, feel free to reach out to me via my website, link in the description below. All right, on to stalls. So, you know, many CFIs don't demonstrate or teach stalls and stall recoveries the right way. And this can have lasting impacts on new pilots. Stalls in any training aircraft should be a docile non-event. And the emphasis should always be on recognition and prevention of the stall before it occurs. So today I'm showing you how I introduce stalls to new pilots and then how each of the primary stalls, power off and power on, can be demonstrated in the RV-12. All right guys, so you know, I don't know many pilots who throughout the course of their career or their training have not had some fear or apprehension around stalls. But that doesn't have to be the case because if we introduce stalls to our students in the proper way, it should go a long way in not creating anxiety or fear around the maneuver. The problem is most instructors don't introduce their students to stalls properly. One way I always introduce stalls to my students is with the falling leaf stall, and that's what we're gonna do today. The falling leaf stall is just one, uh, basically a power off stall in which we are going to pull the power to idle. You could do this in the clean or dirty configuration. Doesn't matter, try it in both. But bottom line is, we are going to keep the stick all the way back the whole time and we are going to just prevent our wings from dropping by using rudder, okay? I always relate it to kind of the idea of balancing the airplane on a pencil because you want to balance it right here and if you don't, well, it's going to fall off the pencil. So that's what we're going to be doing and to start this maneuver, I've already done my pre-maneuver checklist. I've cleared the area, I've made a call. Now we're gonna pull power to idle and we are just going to hold the nose at the horizon. We're gonna hold it right here, not climbing and not descending, all right? We're gonna acknowledge the signs of the stall while they occur. So already we got an AOA going off here. We've got a quiet airframe, it's very quiet in here. Okay, AOA is getting more rapid. It's gonna get solid here, solid tone here shortly. And I'm just continuing to pull this stick back. There's our stall indication. All right, we've got some buffeting happening. Now, I'm just using my rudder. All right, there's the stall. Now, I'm just using my rudder to make sure my wings don't fall. And if they do fall, all I'm gonna do Oops, is put my nose down. Because how do we recover from a stall? We just put the nose down. I don't need to add power. The only thing you need power for in a stall recovery is to prevent yourself from losing more altitude. We're gonna go back into that and do that falling leaf one more time here, making sure our area is still clear. Looking outside, I don't see anybody, here we go. Power idle and I'm just holding the wings level. And I can show them that here, here's our buffet, and now we're stalled. And I can show them we're stalled by showing them the vertical speed here. We are going down, the stall warning is going off. Okay, I'm just holding this stick back. 
and we are stalled, and this is all a stall is. And to recover, all we do is let that nose down. Sorry, it was really loud there. All right, I'm going to add power now so we stop losing altitude. Now, I'll tell you guys what, the RV-12, it's very docile, very forgiving, but at the same time, it can be a little squirrely. Being a light sport aircraft, it can be a little squirrely. So what you saw there, you know, if you're in a Cessna or a Piper Cherokee or something like that, it's going to be even more docile. It's going to be so docile and easy to control, uh, it's not going to be a big deal at all. So I show my students that. I say, this is a stall, no big deal. All we got to do to recover is put the nose down. All right, so that's how we should be introducing stalls to begin with. A power off stall, if we're talking about check ride standards, should be conducted essentially the same way. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna put in, we're in our white arc. We're gonna put in full landing flaps. All right, full landing flaps are in. We're gonna establish a descent at our approach speed of about 60. Here we go, guys. We're setting up for our power stall. We're in a descent at 60. We're gonna pull the power to idle. And we're just going to hold the nose here. We've got our AOA going off. We've got quiet airframe. There's our stall indication. And when we get to the brake, again, we're just gonna prevent the nose or the wing from dropping with rudder, just like this. And when it comes time to recover, all we got to do is put the nose down, just like this. Add power nice and smoothly. Put the nose to the horizon. Flaps up halfway. I stop them halfway. I got my airspeed coming up to VY. I'm going to continue pitching up, bring the flaps up the rest of the way, and then I'm going to hold a VY climb out of that stall. And guys, if your power off stalls are any more exciting than what you just saw there, you're probably not doing them correctly, okay? They should be very docile, very easy, and there should not be any uh, extravagant views of the ground while you do that. All right, let's talk about power on stall. Now in the RV-12, we've got a fairly large uh, weight to power ratio. And we don't necessarily need to go full power for our power on stall because we will have to pitch up pretty uh, significantly to get it to stall. Now, it's not to say you can't go full power, you can, but you're gonna probably need at least 30 degrees of nose up pitch. And that's uh, a little excessive approaching kind of aerobatic territory. So I typically use about 75% power. We're just gonna bring it up to about, uh, we're gonna slow down to roughly rotation speed here, 65 or so. We're gonna bring it up to about uh, 4,800 RPM. There we go, and we're gonna pitch up here. All right, we're watching outside. We don't need to look inside for this. We just make sure our nose comes up nice and easy. We got our AOA going off, our stall indications going off now. Got a little buffeting. And as soon as we get to the brake, all we're gonna do is let that nose down, just like this. You don't have to dive at the ground. We're putting it at the horizon till we get to VY, and then we are just pitching up to hold VY in that climb. When you do the simulated po uh, full power like I'm doing here, you don't add more power because we're already simulating that we have full power. We don't wanna go full power because that would be cheating, right? We're, we're simulating that we have full power already. So that's all it is, folks. Your power on stall in your RV-12 I always relate it to the idea of if you had a brand new quart of ice cream, okay? It's a nice flat top of ice cream and you're gonna take that first spoonful of ice cream. All you're gonna do is just right, go right underneath the surface and get that first, that nice little spoonful of ice cream. That's all we need to do with our nose in a power on stall recovery. You're just gonna dip it a little bit below the surface, the surface being the horizon, a little below the surface and then straight up to the surface level with the horizon while you uh, gain your airspeed and then hold that airspeed at VY as you uh, continue to pitch up. All right, well, that will about do it for today, folks. Hey, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please like and share this video with anyone else you think would find it helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. 
I really appreciate you spending time with me today. And until next time, resume your own navigation. See ya.